Is that the uh, the scrambler? <laughs> I don't speak English. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> That feels slow. Sorry, thank you. Yeah. Oh no. Welcome, welcome guys. Welcome back to the channel. Alright. So today we're gonna be doing a bit of a range test. Um, got the 56 amp hour setup on the X-Class here. And Sal's actually with me. What up Sal? How goes it? <laughs> Sal got the CRC, the Cafe Racer Cannon. Uh, he's going to be joining us today. Uh, we are currently in Brooklyn, New York. About to go meet up with our friend Anas. He has the 72 volt Grizzly setup with uh, 50 amp hours. And uh, yeah, we're actually going to be traveling from Brooklyn to Long Island. It's about mm, give or take 37, 30 mile round trip. So uh, yeah. I'm gonna push these bikes to the limit, see what kind of numbers we can get. Yo, what's up, man? Hello. Yo, how's it going, man? Long time no see, right? Doing <laughs> right. something. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, man. It's like it's finally good weather. You know, it's like this is the only good day. Yeah. What's going on, man? What's up, man? How are you? Oh, I, uh... <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, this is Anas's bike. He has the uh, Grizzly upgraded battery setup, 72 volts, and. Uh, I believe here is the 29 amp hour molly cell pack and then over here is the 21 amp rear rack pack in case you guys are curious and he's running an 80 amp sabaton and for those of you who are new to the channel uh i believe anas is like one of the first ones to upgrade their grizzly and it looks great he, he did uh they did a good job in terms of the uh the placement of everything like that so and he's actually running the same tires as me, I had got the, gotten the idea from him uh, running the Kenda, Kenda Cruiser tires, I believe, the dual sports. So, yeah, I'm running a 150 amp Sabaton. So, uh, our, our goal today is to kind of see what range we get with like the different setups. Uh, Sal, I believe, is running right now only 25 amp hours of Molly Cell uh, with a shark pack up top, but it's not fully charged. So, uh, he's going to be joining us for the ride though, either way. Uh, so we'll probably have to charge for him at some point. Beautiful Sheep's Head Bay, Brooklyn. We're over by the, uh, the shoreline of uh, South Brooklyn. It's nice. It's nice over here. I hate going through this part sometimes, man. This is like a sewage plant. It smells like shit, obviously. <laughs> So from Flatbush Avenue, you can actually get to uh, to Queens. It's a fast road, so. Gonna be burning a lot of volts here.
Nice, buddy. Like, most people have their GPS on. They know where they're going. What the heck are you doing, brother? Hey, yeah, here we go. I think I lost the vault. 97%. I already traveled a total of about three or four miles, I would say. <laughs> huh? What the not? That's why I was honking. Oh really? Yeah. Where'd he go? Why did he get uh did he get uh lost in the the well, traffic? No, we were just, I think he was just going through, there was traffic. Oh. And he got ahead and I weaved in and out to catch up. And yeah. I just don't think he had the speed oh. to catch up because we were going over 50. Oh shit. He caps at 50. Oh, he does. Well, maybe 55. Maybe 55. But still, you know, we were flying. Right, right. I hope he didn't go on the highway. He hey, be how's it go? Is that the, uh, the scrambler? It's the juice. The juice scrambler, right? Oh, yeah, 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 52 volt. Nice, oh, nice. Very well. Yeah, yeah. This one, uh, 72 volts. <laughs> I don't speak English. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ukraine. Ukraine, oh, okay, okay. Privet, privet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got, I, I got slime in my backpack. Long as it's not like a bad, uh, long as it's not a complete blowout, uh, the slime will fix it. All right, guys, well, we actually have to stop for a little bit uh, to help out our, our boy Anas with the Grizzly. He uh, actually caught a flat. So um, he uh, he's going back to the one of the shops on Flatbush Avenue uh, to see if they could replace his tube. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have a spare tube on it, but his stem valve actually broke off. We tried adding slime to it. We were like, oh, it's uh, the air is not filling up. And that's when we found out where the, the stem had broke. battery 79 oh, okay okay yeah
Ay, el viejo. <laughs> Gotta always say hi to the electric peeps. Right side. <laughs> oh, we gotta walk over the bridge. Yeah, because they got the security guys here and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, see oh, that? that security guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll just walk it, and then when we get to like halfway, we'll just ride it after oh, that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we can't get past these guys. Easy pass. Sorry. <laughs> if I had my motorcycle on, I would just get like death stairs all day. Roads are a lot smoother here. Yeah, she's going straight. There's a place to spot to charge if you want to charge for like 15, 20 minutes or something like that. A few moments later. Are my uh, zippers all good? Yeah, zippers are all good. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Actually on our way back to Brooklyn, but we got to go through Far Rockaway first in Queens and we're gonna meet up with Anas who uh, got his uh, his wheel uh, back up and running. Big shout out to uh, Fly, Fly E-Bikes for uh, hooking Anas up with the uh, new stem and tube. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. Yeah, that's so funny. It goes from 77.5 to 77.7, and like I literally did this. <laughs> <Regen. laughs> oh, shit. That's right. Sorry.
bad, bad. How much are you at? Oh, 75.8. Oh, you're pretty good. Yo, what's up, bro? Welcome back. They fixed it? They fixed it? Yeah. In 15 minutes. Oh, shit. Those guys are just... They don't play around, man. Yeah. Oh, you should just uh, get the light kick. It's over. Most of them are just... Oh, no, dude. I am blind. Wow. He just backed right into the pole. I'm kind of scared to go where he's going. <laughs> I dropped down to like 24%. <laughs> 